Hi everyone, this is Steve. Welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. I'm back with another installment of the Fan Home Build the Millennium Falcon. Now this is a fantastic build, and I have to say, this builds just like a model kit. You uh, cut off the part, you sand, you polish, you paint, you glue, I mean, everything is involved here with building this kit and it makes it fantastic and I'm having a blast doing it. So I am working on pack number three, stages seven through 11. We do a lot here on the main hull interior components, pieces and parts, and some test fitting. Plus, we do our first light test. So I don't wanna keep you waiting any longer. Head over to Fan Home and subscribe to this kit today. I did put a direct link down below, which is my direct link for SMKR. It lets Fan Home know that you're watching my videos. So please click on that link. Even if you're not gonna subscribe, click on the link and check it out. See what gifts and everything that they offer. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to another installment of the Build the Millennium Falcon by Fan Home. I received five more stages, stages 7 through 11. And these are all the magazines that came with this pack, pack 3. Let's look at the parts that are involved here. Issue 7 parts, the main hold, and we're going to detail and weather out the cockpit. Issue 8, main hold details. Issue 9, electrics, the hull, and some more hull details. Issue 10, once again, main hold details. And lastly, issue 11, more main hold details. Let's get started on issue 7. Before I get started with issue seven, I'd like to explain a few things with you about this kit. This kit builds upon itself each issue. You get parts and you may assemble some of those parts in that current issue or you may assemble parts from the previous issue, which is most likely what will happen. So in this case, we're gonna be doing some stuff from pack number two where we assembled, we did a test fit of all the parts here for the cockpit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart real quick because we're going to be do some weathering and some painting here next and I'm going to show you my process with that. So everything is taken apart here. And you can see here, I've already glued everything in there, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna to do to overcome the gluing all the parts in with super glue. They would actually break free very easily with the super glue, but I don't want to do that. But I do wanna change the color of the seats, and I do wanna do some uh, detailing of the panels and such, and weathering up the back seats and the front seats and the front of this also. So I'm gonna be doing a lot here, uh, most of it off camera, but I'll explain what I did and uh, we'll show you how I'm gonna make the colors look a little bit different on the panel here when it's lit up with the LEDs because there are some different colors going on on the back side here. And another thing, I did do some research and uh, if you happen to own the first generation of this kit that came out by Model Space D'Agostini um, the front cockpit window assembly is totally different from this. This is the new one. So we're actually receiving the new uh, window frames with this issue. Um, it is three parts. If you look at the older version, the front of the cockpit is actually attached to the lower part. And that's how you know. It's just a lot different than what the new one is. With the new one, the uh, window frames a little more narrower, and uh, there there should be 
you can do some modifying here with these frames here on the back. They should actually be recessed a little bit. The, these two uh, frames right here should be recessed some to make it look studio accurate. But you can leave it as is if you're not real too sure about how to do that. But that's that's the new one, so I'm very glad to hear that. So just as it says, we have the main hold and cockpit there on the top. And these are all the parts that are included with this. First we'll be working on the seat bunk and cushions. That's what that looks like there. You're going to need a good sanding stick, a good uh, sprue cutter for the next steps to do this. Next. I'll assemble the curved seat and bunk assembly. There's a lot going on here. And they tell you you can use super glue with that. I'm going to be using an alternative, something that's a little stronger. We'll start uh, the optional techniques for painting and weathering. So I'll show you some of the tools I use for that and my method. Again, finishing the cockpit here, weathering everything up, gluing everything down at this point. And since mine's glued already, I'm going to show you how to work around that. Let's look at the parts. Here's the parts for issue seven. Let's get a closer look. And here's all the parts out of the bag. We do have the cargo hold floor. And I do know that there's an upgrade kit for this. Um, I'm not going to use it because I actually want to finish it and show you how it looks uh, stock out of the box. And it will look very nice without the upgrades. Some of the parts for the bunk itself, the cushions. And you can see that they already pre-weathered the cushions here. And some screws. Get yourself some really good sprue cutters for this build because this build is just like building a regular model kit. There's a lot of cutting off of parts, a lot of sanding, trimming, and gluing together just like a real kit. And that's what I like about this because it really gets you involved in the model building process. Here's the cushions for the bunk. You have four curved cushions, and this is the front and the back side. And then you have two flat cushions, and you can see this is the back and the front. So it matters where these get installed on the bunk. And I'll show you that here in a second. Here's the bunk. The curved cushions will go in these two indentations right here, and then the flat ones will go right on top of those on both sides. All the parts have been uh, cleaned up and sanded. I got rid of the seam line that was on the inside of this. So we're ready to go here. So the glue I'm going to use is this Zambroid Pro Weld. And it is designed for ABS plastic, as you can see. This is a harder ABS plastic. You can use regular uh, modeling cement if you like. But I prefer to use the ABS type uh, plastic uh, cement.
So that's a curved one that just went in. And now I put in the flat one. All the cushions are in. That's how that looks there. Next, I glue the seat bottom cushion together. That's good there. And that completes those two items for the seat cushion and the bunk. Next, we'll go ahead and uh, pick out the details in the cockpit, the side panels, the front of it. I'm going to use some light gray and some silvers with that. And I also want to paint the seats more of a tannish color. And I'm going to use oils for that. So I'll be right back. For dry brushing, I'm going to be using this Artify uh, dry brush set. And you can use a regular brush if you like. Uh, you can find a link down below for these brushes. And in order for me to get into tight areas, I'm going to be using the smaller one for this. But this is a high quality brush set and uh, you can't go wrong with using this brush set for doing any dry brushing for picking out the details in the cockpit. I'll be using this uh, Monument Hobbies Pro Acryl. It is an acrylic paint. You want to wipe off as much paint as you can off the brush. That's why they call it dry brushing. And then lightly go over the area. Let the brush do the work. Don't press too hard. And there you go. So I did dry brush some of the details out on the back seats, side panels, center console. That's how that looks. Of course, the front end there. And I used some clear blue and reds to paint the back side of that panel. Next, I'm going to use some Aptalung 502 the APT-135 light flesh tone and I'm going to apply these oils on top of those seats. Get my brush wet with some mineral spirits and don't need a whole lot of this stuff. Take most of it off and start applying it. Add a little bit of ABT 140 over the top. There's the chair so far. And put some shadow brown in that also. Of 
go ahead and add a little bit of German ochre to it. And there you go. There's the seats all colored up with the oils. I must say they turned out really nice. So after these dry, I'm going to go ahead and seal them up with my sealer I used previously and give it a wash to give them the grimy look. And that completes issue 7. As you can see I have completed the, the bunk and the couch bottom along with the, uh, the cockpit. Uh, I did paint the chairs with oil so I got to give those some time to dry before I can actually weather the chairs but I'm happy with the weathering and the dry brushing that I've completed on with this. So let's move on to issue number eight. Issue eight or stage eight, we uh, work on the main hold details and here's the parts we received with this stage. I'll be making the technical station here next and once again doing some more dry brushing with those parts. And then preparing the hold floor, we're going to go ahead and put a wash over the top of it, bring out some of the details. And preparing the seat support itself, we'll be working on that a little bit. And assembling the seat, it's made up of 12 cushions they say, but uh, I'm not going to be putting in all the cushions, I'm going to do a little modification with this. Here's parts for stage 8. I'll take these out we'll get a closer look. Here's a close-up of all those parts. Most of everything is on trees here. We'll have to cut those off. But you can see there's the cushions for the, the couch. That's how that looks. Here's one of the bulkheads. Another one some details for that bulkhead and this console panel let's get started next I work on the technical station and you can see it's kind of a light bluish gray colored plastic and uh, we have a panel that needs to be added to it. I went ahead and I painted it black because it was a uh, white in color so that's what that will look like and I will uh, put a dab of glue on the back side of it same with these knobs that's how they look from that side Just like that. And there's the panel dry brushed and detailed out a little bit there. Let's move on to the next step. Next I'm going to go ahead and detail out the hold floor. I'm going to go ahead and put a wash of coal black over the entire surface and then I'll wipe off the excess. I already sealed it with my Krylon matte finish and this is the acrylic coal black I'm going to be using. Thinned out a whole lot.
Go ahead and let that dry. And the whole floor is done. I like how it looks. I like the dirtiness of it and all that. I went ahead and wiped it down with some uh, a paper towel and a little bit of alcohol and water. And then I went ahead and sealed it with my Krylon matte finish. Next I prepared the seat support and I painted these little instruments right here black and then I dry brushed them to bring out the details. Just see that. And they next wanted us to paint this item right here which is an optional light. And I painted that with an ivory and some silver and I went ahead and put it in now. Just going to make it easier to put it in there now before we do the next step. So the next step is to put our bunk into this and we'll slide that in and the top of that will go down on top of that okay so that was that was a test fit so okay I glued down the top there and that looks good there now we'll go ahead and temporarily install this onto the floor with a couple of screws we received in issue 7 and there you go that's just temporary for now so to help us along now it's time to assemble the seat cushions so I'll be right back and the seat cushions are starting to go down now they're going to be interchangeable here and so the next one will go down right beside it, just like that. Then another small one. I'm not going to go all the way around. I am going to stop, but I'm going to modify it just a little bit. And you'll see that when I get done. I'm not going to put in all the seat backs. I'm going to end it right there. I actually put two large ones together on the very end there. I had to notch off the bottom of it so it will fit. Glue it in. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it in up against the seat support and make sure everything is up against the side and on the real Millennium Falcon the filming miniature or the filming stage there were no seat backs on this this very end portion here there's like a control panel there so we'll see what I can do to scratch build something for that And as you can see here, I got the seat back cushions in for the couch, and it doesn't go all the way around, which looks good. And I'm going to manufacture a panel to go on that, like a little control panel. And you'll see that a little bit later. So that completes stage eight. Let's head over and get started on stage nine. Stage 9 or Issue 9, I'll continue here with the electronics hull and the hold details. And these are the parts we should have received. We'll also need four AA batteries. First thing I'm going to do is do uh, testing of the lights for the cockpit. So that's pretty easy to do there. Then we'll put in some uh, tape strips for light blocking. Then I'll temporarily install the cockpit into the passage tube. Nothing will be glued here. It's just going to be temporary because I want to get access to those seats so I can weather them. And uh, I'm going to take it apart so I can start installing the greebles. And to give you the back of the magazine gives us a really good illustration on installing those bits of sprue pieces from plastic kits from everywhere that's what they call the greebles let me get the parts I'll be right back here's the parts for issue 9 or stage 9 whole bunch of stuff in here let's take this out and get a closer look and here's those parts. We have more hull plating. Very nice there. The 
whole frame. Light blocking strips. Passageway arch with the pads that go along with it. Uh, looks like a, a wall. Of course our battery box. A wire bundle here. Connector and some screws. And it's plugged in. Go ahead and turn it on. And that's what that looks like. You can actually see the colors I added to the back. Very nice. Next I'm going to install this light blocking tape to the inside of the passage tube here. But we need to cut out notches for this part here and that part there. I'll show you that in a second. And there you go. Both light blocking tapes are installed. Let's get started on the greebles. And here's those greebles we received from issue 6. Need to cut these off and clean up the seams. Part number 1 is going to go right there. Put some glue on there. Just like that. Part number two is going to go right here. Just like that. I'm not worried about uh, putting too much glue on there because it will get painted over a little bit later. Part number three is going to go right here. And there we go. And that's all we do with the upper half. Bring over the lower half and we'll put the greeblies on this. Number four goes right here. Line that up. And then the next one gets mounted on top of that. Actually, that's number seven. Number six goes right there. A lot more involved here. Perfect. And right there. Right there. That's how that looks. Just like that. Just like that. We'll let those dry and then we'll test fit everything together again. Okay, I assembled the cockpit and everything is temporarily installed here. I do have the lights turned on so you can see that. You can see where I put the different colors in there. It makes a little bit of a difference there. But very nice. This is temporary so I can still get inside and I can go ahead and weather the seats after the oils dry. I'm going to give them a few days to dry. But that's what that looks like. That completes stage 9. Let's head over and get started on stage 10. Stage 10, I work on the main hold details. And these are all the parts I received with this stage. We're going to work on one of the archways for the hallway, and it's called lining the hold door. So we have a bunch of little padding to go down. Then we're going to work on the hold wall a little bit. Continue with that. 
and put in some of the arch supports through there. And that's what it will look like. Let me get the parts. I'll be right back. Here's the parts for stage 10. Let's get a closer look. Here's the hull plating. Very nice there. One of the interior walls. Two more hull framing. Another piece of the hull framing. Some screws and a hull a framing attachment bracket. Let's get started. Here's the hallway framing. We're going to be installing these pads onto it. I'm going to be gluing them on. Got to cut them off and then I got to sand them down, trim them up a little bit so they look nice. And we'll glue them onto this. I'll be doing this several times in this build. So there you go. So I'll be right back when it's complete. And here they are, all glued in place, ready to go. Let's move to the next step. Next step, I'm going to go ahead and glue in these panels onto this side wall. And I already dry brushed that panel, kind of highlight it there. The next panel, and that goes down just like that. Just like you see. Go ahead and let those dry. Next, I'll install the outer door liner. Now, there is ejection pin markings on one side of this. You can kind of see it there. So when we put it in there, we want to make sure we put that on the side that's not seen. So I did test fit. Everything looks good there. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on here. Press that in all the way. Looks good. Next, we'll put the inner door liner in place, and that's going to go on just like that. We're going to glue it in place just like that. And there you go. That panel is complete. Very nice. Everything glued in place. That completes stage 10. Let's head over and do the final stage for pack 3, stage 11. And here's the final stage for pack 3, stage 11, main hold details. Here's the parts we received. We'll be fitting the first pipes onto that wall. We'll be cutting those off, sanding them down, neatening them up a little bit. That's what that will look like there. Still continuing with the pipe work. And continuing with the pipe work here on this page. Let's look at the parts. Here's the parts for stage 11. Let's get a closer look. And another hull plating. Looks like the underside where the landing gear goes. Very cool there. Another interior wall. And hull plating. Or the, the framework itself. Very nice. A couple of... Uh, Connector brackets for that. Another bracket we haven't used yet. Pretty cool there. And three bags of screws. Let's get started. And we have this gray pipe. We need to put two pieces together on it. So we'll put a little bit of glue on this. And try to follow the instructions here. And that's how they want it. Just like that. Now they want us to install this 
on the wall. Just like that. Then all the way over. Just like that. Uh, glue the back side of it so it's not seen. Okay, we'll let that dry, and that's what that looks like there. Need to put in another pipe. Now this is that white pipe on another sprue tree. We need to glue this piece onto it and put some glue on it. Bring this over. I have to work with this kind of fast. And that's how that goes there. Next, insert this pipe right next to the other one. Just like that. And we'll lift it up a little bit, bring it over slide it in beside the other one just like that turn it over and glue it on the back side There we go. Let that dry. So the next pipe is this one right here. And it's going to go into that hole right there. Put some glue on it. Big glob of glue. And insert it. And it's going to hang down just like that. The next pipe goes in right beside it, just like that. And that's how that should look. I'll glue it down, I'll be right back. The next pipe goes in that hole right there. So we'll put a little glue on that. And that's how it lines up there. And that's what that looks like. We'll let everything dry here before we go up to the next step. Went ahead and clear coated it, so take away the shine from the glue. Looks good. And there's the back wall on the floor. It does have dovetails on the bottom here, three of them, so you have to press straight down to get it to align, plus you want to watch your, your hoses here, that they go into the floor correctly, but that's what that looks like. I'll put the rest of it together and you can see what it looks like. And that's what the interior hold looks like. All the panels installed on it temporarily. Nothing's glued down. But I must say, it looks great.
And that's all I do with stage 11. I'll be right back. And that completes pack three. This was fantastic. And I'm having a blast building this so far. It's just like working on a real model kit. Glue and paint, sanding, sprue cutters, all the stuff. Everything's involved here. So I'm going to hopefully by the time I do pack four, I'll have this done. And I'll show you what I did with the console there. Since there's no seat back that goes on that, according to the filming locations in the studio, there was no seat backs there. But that looks fantastic. And of course, everything is just test fitted. Nothing's glued together. And you can see how the lights work there. That's fantastic. So if you haven't done so already, head over to Fan Home and subscribe to this build today. I put a direct link down below. It's a link to, uh, it's my channel link. So click on that. And it lets Fan Home know that you watched my videos. And that's your way of being able to support my channel. Even if you don't subscribe, please click and check it out. Check out what they have to offer, the gifts, and everything involved with that. So, if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Head to the link I put down below and check out this build. Happy modeling, everybody. Take care.